What's up guys, this is Max and welcome to the newest episode of our test play series dedicated to our upcoming title Nantucket. In today's episode we are going to keep sailing and take a look to the dangers at sea. So what happens when you are going to run out of one of your vital resources. I hope you enjoy it. So we are sailing with our ship in open waters and this little red notification appears. The notification is red because it's a warning, so something important to deal with uh, really quick. By highlighting it we can see that we are going to run out of food pretty soon. This is obviously really bad, so it's something you should tackle as soon as possible. But what are your choices? First of all, I can click on the notification and open the ship interface. From here I can decide to start rationing the food by simply clicking this button. Rationing the food buys me more time, it means that I have more days to deal with this problem. But your crew is not going to like it, so their morale is going to decrease. But it's better hungry than dead. Now you have few more days, but the problem persists. As soon as the food is completely depleted, all the characters, included yourself, are going to have the state starving added. A starving character is going to become weaker and weaker till he dies. Now we will try to fix this problem using all the options available in the game. Option 1. YOLO. I'll just put my best sailor in the quarterdeck and rush to the closest city. The food is not enough, but I can hope something happens. Ok, the food is gone and I have an event to deal with. We can lower a whale boat and try to fish something. We don't have blubber, so we cannot eat it. Also, if eating blubber can make someone sick, we can pray the Lord for a miracle. Or we can take extreme measures, such as killing one of the crew members and hit it. Clearly the captain is out of the lottery. It's the safest solution, but clearly people don't like cannibal captains and in the long run could be worse. But in this case I would say it's the best solution, so so long and thank you for all the meat. Now we have food and we can reach the city. Second option, we could hunt whales. I could select this filter showing me all the whaling areas that I've already discovered and if one of them is close to my ship or at least closer to my ship than the city I'm trying to reach, I could go there and hunt whales for food and also blubbers to sell. The third option requires a character with a specific skill, that is hunting. I can have a crew member with this skill or the captain can have it. If I have a character with this skill, I can reach a safe harbor, that are the harbors with this symbol, and stop there to hunt food. As you can see, safe harbors can be used in the case I'm running out also water and wood also if each resource needs a specific skill. Safe harbors are not just there, they can be created and this brings us to the fourth and last option. The super safe captain always brings with him a character with a safe docking skill and enough wood to create a safe harbor whenever he needs. In this case you have simply to reach the closest coast and create a safe harbor. Once created, a safe harbor stays there, so it can be used every time it's needed. During your adventures could be really useful to populate the map with safe docks you can use in situations like this. And that's it. 
as I told you, the situation we faced for the food could happen also for water and wood, and this is just a part of the dangers you will face at sea. In the next episodes we are going to explore other dangers such as piracy and we are going to finally take a look to the captain panel and the quest system. That's it for today, keep following us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter and see you soon. Ciao!